I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thanks for joining me once again on my channel on Data Engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Python on Snowflake playlist, and we're going to take a look at Snowpark. Now, most of the work that we've done so far on this playlist has been using the Python connector, and that has been sort of using your local machine to interact with Snowflake uh, to move data back and forth and to do all kinds of operations. But with Snowpark, we're going to be able to uh, create and execute code that will execute on the server uh, in, in Snowflake. And uh, that it gives us another angle for us to uh, perform all the data uh, manipulation that we want to do. Let's get to it. Want to help support my work and see additional articles in this area? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay guys, so to get Snowpark, you do need to do a pip install and I'm gonna save you a ton of time here. Um, I read it, the instructions, and it says Python 3.8 only, and it turns out that it does mean 3.8 only. <laughs> and of course, me being me, I did try to put this onto my newer versions, uh, 3.9 and 3.10 and it did not work. So I had to go and do a separate installation of Python 3.8. And uh, once I did that, I got this uh, nice installation here. Um, this is sort of a clean installation of 3.8. I used 3.8.10 because it had an installer uh, with it and uh, it will go and it'll get a lot of the things that you really need to do some data analysis on your machine so it's going to get pandas it's going to get numpy uh, it's going to get pi arrow and and some other um, libraries and it takes a little while for it to run uh, the installation depending on what your computer's like uh, but make sure that you get that uh, installation with the square brackets pandas at the end i would highly recommend that um, so that you get all the tools that come with the pandas uh, specific installation and once we get uh, installed, uh, I'm going to start the idle shell for uh, 3.8.10. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, our goal today is to get installed and then get connected to our Snowflake warehouse and perform a query on it um, so that we know that our installation of Snowpark is working. And uh, that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say uh, from snowflake.snowpark uh, import session and uh, I'll give some feedback to our console there to say that I'm connecting and uh, and then I'm gonna create a connection parameters uh, uh, dict here and uh, what that's gonna do is uh, it's gonna uh, collect all the parameters we need to get us where we need to go so it's gonna have the account in it it's going to have our, our username and password and the warehouse and database and schema that we want to connect to. Very similar to how we connected uh, when we were using the Snowflake connector. Now, if you guys have been following this series, uh, you will have seen how I, how I connect using the uh, connector. And uh, I've preloaded some uh, variables with my account user name and password. That's what the snow account, snow user and snow pass is there. Um, you, of course, will put your own uh, credentials in, um, and uh, there are various ways of doing it. Um, in the documentation, they use a system variable, uh, which you can also use in, in this case. Um, so I'm going to put my project warehouse in, project database, um, and the uh, schema that I'm going to use. Uh, in my connection. I like to put all of those in when I'm working, uh, whether it's using the Snowflake connector or using Snowpark. Um, it's nice to, to go exactly where you need to go so you don't have to specify those things after you make your connection. So there's our schema um, and that's our project schema that we're going to use uh, uh, in our project database there. So I'll give some more feedback. I'll just say uh, uh, we're going to create the session here. Um, so um, the Snow Snowpark uses sessions, um, which is uh, a nice uh, way to interact with the uh, warehouse and the and the database. 
And we'll do that, uh, we'll create a session by uh, using that session that we imported up above there. And uh, we're gonna create a variable for the session. I've called it SESS. We'll use the builder. We'll put our configs in there, our CNN param, uh, parameters, and then we'll use the dot .create uh, to create a new session. Um, and then that's gonna allow us to interact uh, using Snowpark um, to do our data selection and, and manipulation and all kinds of things. Um, and just as a simple test for today's video, I'm going to do, uh, I'll print um, session SQ, dot SQL, and I'll just put in select star from project, because um, I know that that's a table I have in my uh, project warehouse uh, that we've you've seen several times in previous videos using the connector. And I'm going to use that dot collect method on the end there, and that's going to uh, get the data uh, associated with my SQL that I've put in there, and it's and it's going to print that out because I've just said to print it. Um, and then I'll close the session. I'll say uh, SESS dot close, and then I'll be done. And uh, it's a good idea it to to also if you want to use a try accept finally block here, uh, you can also do that. Um, uh, in order to catch errors, but today I'm just gonna uh, plunk those in and there we go. Okay, so I hit F5 and it did connect, it got the test data and as you can see, it's come back and it's um, it's given us um, this list here. Uh, so it's got, um, you know, different IDs, the kale farm and the blueberry farm and the, and the descriptions. And so we could loop through these if we wanted to. We could do certain things with the data um, and we can do all kinds of other stuff, including using data frames and, and other things, which we'll get into in uh, upcoming videos. Uh, but for today's intents and purposes, um, uh, I just wanted to uh, get some data from the server so that we can show that our Snowpark installation is working as we would like it to. And if you do not have a, a warehouse set up in, in there already, and you've just made your connection without the warehouse database and schema, you can do something like, uh, in order to test it, you can say select current warehouse, uh, current database, current schema, um, and, and that statement will return to you uh, those, uh, those functions um, from Snowflake. It'll return some data in case you don't have a project warehouse like I set up before, and you still want to check your Snowpark uh, installation, you can do that just by uh, using this command here, this uh, select statement, and I'll hit F5, and it looks like, there we go. Okay, so it's gone through, um, and it's given me the name of my warehouse. Yours will be different. It might be compute underscore warehouse or something like that, um, and it'll be a different schema, but um, that is how you can test it if you do not have a warehouse set up yet and you want to check your snowpark so you can use it that way. And that's how you can get started with snowpark in Python. <laughs>